Hey guys, this alert is coming from law enforcement. Hackers have figured out a way to hide secret malware inside public charging stations. So if you're at the airport, the mall, the hotel, you plug in your phone, all looks okay. But what's really happening? Secret spyware is infecting your phone. Today, you're about to watch a hacker do it with ease. It's called juice jacking. Your phone battery is dying. You need a charge. So you find the public charging station to juice up. Everything looks normal. Phone is charging all good. What you don't see? Secret malware giving hackers full access to your phone. And you'd never know. How easy is it for the hackers? We're about to show you. Let me just step down here. This is Brian Seely, a world-renowned hacker who operates here out of his own garage. This is where it all happens. Luckily, Brian uses his skills for good. Thanks for having us. I appreciate it. All right, so can I borrow this just for a second? Please. Thank you. So today, Brian is working on this charger right here, the kind of charger you'd find at any public charging station. And you're infecting this with malware, right? Absolutely. Spyware, so you can take control of people's phones. Uh, his victim today is me. He works fast, takes him only minutes to do it. And just like that, the charger is bugged. If I plug my phone into this to charge, it'll look like it's charging, but you can actually watch what I'm doing. You could be anywhere on the planet and I could rob you completely blind without leaving this chair, without putting on pants. All right, so I'm gonna go try this. I'm gonna drive away from here. I'm gonna try this and you're saying you'll be able to see what I do when I plug this into this. Shut the door on the way out. I drive 10 miles away from Bryant's house. The charger is powered up, ready to go. Pulled into this parking lot. I'm gonna plug in my tablet and get going. I start browsing the web and straight away I go for a hacker's dream. All right, I'm in my bank now. And I will definitely be changing my passwords after this, like right after this. Then I write some work emails and personal notes too. He said he can see contacts, so. I'm gonna email my wife. And can't forget about my kids. Let me go on Amazon. My son wants this uh, racing game. I play around online for a while, but now I need to know. Let's go see Brian, see what he saw. I'm back. Welcome back. Did it work? Absolutely. What do you got? I have your wife's phone number, for starters. What's her name? Danielle. What's her phone number? Ends in That's correct. Okay. Uh, you've emailed with uh, someone named Deirdre. My producer. And I believe, I hope I don't want to spoil a surprise, but your son might be getting a racetrack from Amazon. Does that sound about right? <laughs> My God. So you were able to see that. Because I was looking at the picture right at the right there. But then he tells me the scariest piece of private information of all. I have your bank account number. You have my bank account number. I did go I did go on. Then he names my bank. Yep. And my account number. Ends in I can read you back text messages from your wife, everybody you've ever, you've ever texted, all your call history. Everything that's on your phone is now mine. And just when I think he's done, it gets even creepier. So what are you doing? Taking a picture from the camera. You can remotely... Yeah. You just... Be, be, all because I plugged in. Yep. But I'm not in the charger anymore. You, you, it just took once to get infected. And then it stays on it? This is now mine. And I get to do whatever I want with it. And you don't know anything is going on. In case you're wondering, I have changed all my passwords, like all of them. The best advice, never charge your phone in one of those public charging stations. But if you must, I have a cool little gadget here that you can buy that will protect you. We'll get a tight shot of it here. You can see what it is. It looks like a little USB. It's a data blocker. It costs seven bucks on Amazon. Here's what you do. You have your, you have your charging cord here, right? Like normal. Instead of plugging this directly into the charger, you plug it into the data blocker and you plug the data blocker blocker into the charger. It allows only power to get to your phone. And here's the cool thing. It blocks all the data and viruses from getting into your phone. Only power is allowed through. Worth getting and worth spending a few dollars considering what can happen if you're hacked. And by